Ready? Hi, I'm Eric Paulson. I'm here with Christian Fong, and I'm going to show a quick series on the step over. I call it the step over series, which is something I've been using for quite some time. I use it for MMA. I use it for submission wrestling. I use it for jujitsu. It's a really easy way to set up a triangle and then arm locks and things from that. We're going to start with a position called Kazuri Keizugatami. In Kazuri Keizugatami here, I'm going to be underhooking. And in this position, all I'm going to do is just keep my weight on him. And all I'm going to do is from here is just step over his head with my foot. And I'm going to put the back of my leg on his head and kind of pull his head a little off balance. It's very uncomfortable for him. So most people, what they'll start to do is they'll push the leg off their head just like that. Now I'm going to come back. And as I do, I'm going to punch nice and deep. And then I put my hand here and then I'm going to squeeze. The second thing I'm going to do from here is I'm going to knee slide across and I'm going to sit all the way out and I'm going to make him hold my body weight. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to step over the head. He's going to wipe it off. Look how I bring this back. Okay. If you can punch deep, that's great. I used to teach people to do this, but I had a guy get DQ'd in a jiu-jitsu tournament. So you might get in trouble for this. So you might just be able to get this. The second thing is you're going to jump across. Look if his knee is up. Lift your knee. I'm going to put my knee through and then just slide. Ooh, I just slid through. I'm going to sit out and I'm going to lift. Notice he's holding my entire body weight. Okay. Now, the same thing. When I step over, he shoves the leg off again. And what's going to transpire is he's going to roll on his side. So from right here, I'm going to punch and I'm going to three-quarter slicer. With the three-quarter slicer, I'm going to step over his leg. And then I'm just going to drop my elbows together, and that's the choke. Now, in order for me to hit the doors from here, i got to bring my foot close to his body, slide that foot close, and punch deep. And then from here, I sprawl. One more time. Step. He pushes. He comes up. From right here, I'm immediately punching to the three-quarter. Three quarter, I can pull him in a little bit, step over a leg, it doesn't matter which one. And then I'm going to put my knee down and squeeze my elbows together, and that's where I get the tap. In order for me to do the darts from here, with the th from the three quarter, I've got to bring this foot under as close as I can to his head. This will allow me to punch super deep, and then I'm going to sprawl. As I'm doing this step over, and he wipes, and I come to the doors, I just punch as deep as I can, and then this hand slices, and then I put my hips to the floor. Now, when I step over, just like this, instead of pushing, he reaches, and he pulls my leg back, like that, with just one hand. So again, I step, he hold on, he grabs like this, and just pulls it back, it's just like that. A lot of times the arm becomes trapped, so now I just hip down and I hit, look at my arm, tight, elbow to the side, slide, slide, and lift. Okay, one more time. So again, when I step over and he pulls, bang, keep it tight, look at this arm. Punch and pull, elbows tight, slide the chest to the stomach, elbow down, and hip up. Same thing when I go here, he pulls it just like that. Okay, from right here, look at this little spot. This hand's going to reach under, and this hand's going to come deep. And then I'm going to roll my body weight towards his head, and that's going to be the paper cutter slicer choke. One more time. Step, he pulls, trap, come under, and put it here. I go here, he pulls the leg off the head, his arm's trapped, I come here, now my hands come here, and I push, and this is my arm bar, I come back to here, and he bends his arm up, there's a wrist lock, I bring it down, this is the shoulder lock, 
there's the space, come back to the slicer. Okay, one more time. Step, he pulls, come around the head, two hands here, push the shoulder to the floor, and straight arm bar. From here, you bend it up, he bends his arm, that's a wrist lock. You bring it down, flatten, knuckle in the shoulder, lift his head, reach back under, and you have your slicer choke. This is called the step over series.